I am a wireless engineer based in San Diego, California, uh, working for Qualcomm. Uh, even though I'm from a small town, I always had big dreams and I always believe like there's only one life. So you have to make most of it. Oh, and you could do that as well. In your CPT itself, you could do three internships. Uh, and uh, like now people have so much of fear of networking. But let's say why you should network, you know, let's go towards that. Because if it, I think once you know how much uh, it's rewarding, then you would go through that pain. Like you would be like, okay, let me just try this out. Yes. Yeah, I think uh, that's a very good, um, you know, question that you asked because I do want to uh, burst myth about it. Welcome everyone to this new video. Uh, coming to a new country for masters and then struggling to find that first internship. How to network and last but not the least finding that first full-time job can be a very daunting process especially if you don't have a mentor or a friend you know who has walked this path so in this video which is in fact the first part of the three episodes we have someone who has not only walked this path but have succeeded in her life she is a senior engineer at Qualcomm and she's also my mentor or I would say like a LinkedIn guru uh, Roshni uh, is the name. I hope you all know her. If not, after this video, you will get a great insight to her life. You know, while we struggled to find that one internship, she was able to get three of them in her entire master's journey. And also, she got featured in India's biggest blog, Humans of Bombay. And in this video and upcoming videos, we will discuss why. So, she is actually on a mission to help people like me, you, uh, to grow in their career and grow as a professional so make sure to watch the entire video and also the entire series and uh, in this episode we are especially targeting three points that is to get to know her better and how did she get three internships plus what is networking and what is that power of networking which she utilizes and we are afraid of so watch this till the end I hope you get a good learning out of it so let's get started. Hi Roshni, how are you? Uh, hi Ayush, I'm doing good. Uh, how are you? I'm great, I'm great. So just mm -hmm. tell us something about yourself. Firstly, uh, I would like to welcome everyone to Ayush channel. Thank you so much, Ayush, for having me here. It's a pleasure to have you, you know, to be talking to you. And uh, I'm really thankful to everyone who has taken the time to kind of watch this video. So a little bit about me. Uh, I am a wireless engineer based in San Diego, California, uh, working for Qualcomm. And uh, my story is I'm from a small town, Varodara. And uh, even though I'm from a small town, I always had big dreams. And I always believe like there's only one life. So you have to make most of it and uh, even though being from a small town being from a conservative family my dreams always have been that women can have women should men and women both should have their own individual identity and uh, just like you is you know a lot, a lot of you guys I am an immigrant I came from Baroda I wanted to be here I didn't want to uh, I wanted to make something for myself and uh, that's the reason I did three internships one in Intel San Diego Intel uh, Phoenix and then uh, Apple Cupertino and then I started working at Qualcomm I also did one internship in Ericsson and all of this was by networking by being by talking to people I did not apply I knew who is hiring beforehand and I reached out to those people and that's how I got the job so uh, I think that's what the this uh, video I think is also about but more than that now I've started sharing content about like you know how women should have their own financial identity how you know feminism is beneficial for men as well right like and men don't speak up like I think there's so many problems that men go through but nobody talks about them because there's so much of like concentration on like you know what women are going through so uh, my channel is now going towards steering towards that direction too so if you are looking for that content please feel free to go towards my uh, channel and I'll be putting my YouTube link over there so um, over to you in the description yes. or yes two things to definitely follow is her YouTube channel and most important her LinkedIn. Yes, yes, recently. Are, the posts are amazing. <laughs> yeah. They are Thank actually you. motivating and it will give you, uh, you know, uh, tips that if you want to read, you can just go through them and uh, you can get good short tricks maybe to get a yeah. good uh, yeah. job. I think career. this is 
Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Ayush. And this is a good time to just educate the audience that recently my post on, uh, you know, women having their own financial ad- identity got viral. I'll be putting the post, uh, you know, snapshot over here and you guys can see. Um, it was such such a beautiful response to, to have seen from people that um, people do, not just women, men also like value financial independence of women. So that was re- really fun. So if you guys are looking for such fun content where that does invigorate you because my writing i feel that's my strength mujhe nahi pata ki what god has given me but the one thing god has given me is is good writing skills and uh, if you want to enjoy that ride please follow the way um, i have said <laughs> on my linkedin point perfect. perfect thank you so one thing which stood out uh, you did three internships right uh, mm-hmm. was that during the masters or masters plus undergrad no that was during my masters so oh, wow. uh, masters is two years right but for right. me the masters became kind of like two and a half years and uh, the last semester i did my internship as well as i did my final two uh, one credit that i needed to um, remotely so you could do that as well in your cpt itself you could do three internships uh, and uh, like it's just like you cannot have um, like one full year of internship you just need mm-hmm. to have one like you know after two full semesters you can do an internship and then you can st- go to study and then again you can do two internships so, that's, so that's that's what i did yeah okay and you said both all three of them was via networking right yes exactly so what this is this all... networking and what is the magic trick yeah i'm so glad you asked like because this is a question that people ask me and the other day i was trying to think like why people are so scared of networking right because that word in itself is like oh you have to go and give your resume to someone right <laughs> or you have to talk to someone that you don't know and basically be like hey please hire me right so uh, there's so many myths that like, that's what i first want to talk about is especially as indians like i think our culture is very different right we are not used to like going to networking events uh, like back in india right and here it's totally different here people are no networking when they are like just teenagers right so um so net what what is networking i think to me it's genuinely being curious um genuinely connecting with the other person asking them questions and uh, really connecting to them at a very um depth level to understand something from their experience so that it helps and enriches your life okay so it's not always about them but start with that and then it comes to you what you can learn from somebody else's life right so like for example right now somebody is seeing they would now be like they would know that oh i can do three internships right or i can do two internships so you learned from my experience and that exactly is what networking is so uh, that's that's what i would say for networking but is that not a long and tedious process or it comes naturally uh, to you I don't think so it came naturally to me not at all because uh, if you know I mean if any of my school mates were here they would tell you that Roshni was I'll just give you an incident ki um I was such a geek person like there was this one time I was in a convent school so high five to all see James uh, I was in convent and it was a girls only school so it's very different like and if it's a girls only school it's very different but there was this one time I think I scored highest in chemistry and I was sitting on my I used to always sit on the last bench because I don't want any attention from teachers like I don't want which unfortunately used to happen that teachers like kind of see the last bench more <laughs> yeah so uh, it, there was this one time i was sitting on the bench and i was i used to not talk to anyone i had no friends like the friends that i had i only ha- talk to them when i like really have to like you know okay this is a necessity i need to ask this so i had no friends i used to go to to my school just sit in the bench study whatever teacher is saying and be quiet is in fact in 7th grade i was not even good with studies after 8th grade i got better and people started thinking like oh she just got lucky like you know first uh, like 8th standard mein agar mera 5th rank aa gaya tha to people just thought ke ha she got lucky like she's not that smart or something so uh, that's what the kind of person i was and in 8th i started picking up things but i hi- scored highest in chemistry and there was a time a girl turns behind me and then basically asked me like roshni tu tv dekhti hai kya <laughs> 
सो इट इट वॉज लाइक इट्स दिस इज दिस कैन जस्ट गिव यू एन आइडिया कि मैं किसी से बात भी नहीं करती थी तो uh, लोगों को ऐसा ही लगता था कि ये तो मतलब एकदम बुक में एकदम ऐसे अंदर होता है ना बुक वॉम जैसा दैट्स वॉट पीपल यूज टू थिंक अबाउट मी सो नो इट वॉज दिस नेटवर्किंग थिंग इज टोटली आउट ऑफ माई कम्फर्ट जोन आई यूज टू नॉट टॉक टू पीपल बट एट द सेम टाइम आई डेलिब्रेटली पुट माई सेल्फ आउट ऑफ माई कम्फर्ट जोन I'm still an introvert by heart, but uh, after my school, you know, in my bachelor's when I came, I was like, this is a new place. I can define myself mm-hmm. the way. I think if you saw my internship video, I always look for opportunities where I can just def- redefine myself because mm-hmm. it's boring to just be one personality. Right? The growth only will happen when you're doing something different, right? So I did not know networking, and I want to tell this to people: if you guys don't know what, like, you know, what how to do that, how to reach out to people, just try talking to one person in in your friend circle. you know like friends of friends or you know friends of like uh, your your friends of your parents or something like that like your cousins or your siblings someone that you have not spoken at a depth level and then basically just try to open up to that and that's what i did in my bachelor's i really deliberately started being the person who would put her hand up a lot of times it used to annoy people <laughs> but i used to be like i want to learn i want to change myself and deliberately i put myself like that and i understood how rewarding it is so um this is i think a good time where i would say like now people have so much of fear of networking but let's say why you should network you know let's go towards that because if it i think once you know how much uh, it's rewarding then you would go through that pain like you would be like okay let me just try this out okay yes. so you need a strong network for several reasons number one is your strong network can help you find mentors you know like you if you don't know something you can find mentors that can teach you that second you can reach where you want to faster right if you have a mentor you yeah. if you want to yeah. read somewhere or i mean if you have a friend also let's say you know i let's say if you go to ud or you talk to someone else you would know that oh he is that my subscribers doing this how can i also kind of at least re- replicate that right so you would reach where you want to reach faster if you have a, an amazing strong network right the third point basically being you if you have a pitfall in your career or in your life you would have your network that can hold you right support you let's say you lost a job right then you have so many people to reach out to that can help you like to get a job right in any country in any place if you do it correctly mm-hmm. right and uh, fourth reason could be that you um, you know you have like a voice right if you have a strong network you have a voice to sound back to like there is a sound a uh, sound board right like you can talk to them bounce back ideas with them and not just to basically leverage something but just really to feel like oh there is someone right and uh, to get uh, to open doors for you right like if let's say if somebody is really ahead of you and uh, they they have struggled really hard to open certain doors and you are you get in touch with them and you have a good foundation with them they will open doors for you right so like this is the reason like a strong network is so important so if it is so and then like i think a strong network will also put you out of your comfort zone call you out on your shit right like rushing you're not doing this correctly right like this was not good so you could do this better right so i think that's the reason a strong network is really important and that's why i feel like networking is important and uh, let's remove the word networking let's just really uh talk about connecting to people you know being curious about their journey and learning from it right so propelling curiosity is the the way i feel networking is like for me so and i think it could be for you like you guys also don't think like oh uh what do i talk you know just ask what do what can i learn from this person and what can what question can i tailor to learn that right so that's can what I ask, yeah yeah makes sense yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's what I would say for networking. <laughs> okay. So, what I mean, uh, I know LinkedIn is one platform where you are really mm-hmm. very active, apart from you know Instagram and YouTube. So, mm-hmm. why and can I actually say LinkedIn is one of the best platform to network, at least in a corporate culture? Yeah, I think uh, that's a very good um, you know question that you asked because I do want to uh, burst myth about it. Um okay. Thank you for watching the entire video. Um in the next part we will be talking about how to leverage LinkedIn, how to make the best use of LinkedIn and also make a profile that completely stands out. So please watch it. It will be out in the next 2 days. 
so hit that subscribe button if you have not and uh, make sure to show to share the video with your friends or family because you never know who might be in need of this conversation and who might get some help out of it so till then stay safe and stay connected bye